Charles will actually change his relationship with indigenous people here? Do you think he, he will actually be actively changing the relationship between the monarchy and indigenous peoples in Canada? In my opinion, I don't think any substantive changes will happen at all with uh, King Charles III. I think that we will have more open and transparent conversations. I know there's also dialogue regarding uh, apologies for some mistreatment done in the name of the Crown. But I think the way that our governance systems in Canada, our legal systems, are developed, I don't think there's much that will be able to happen at this point in time. I think it would be a drastic restructuring of how we govern this country. Um, so as much as we will advocate for it, I don't think that any particular monarch, especially someone at this point in time, will be able to instigate changes that would like to occur. But I think, again, it goes back to the tone that is being set. I think we're probably going to see a more open tone to having these conversations, which might lead into the future to uh, more substantive changes farther down the road. So before that, you know, I need to ask, I mean, a number of polls recently have shown that Canadians, most Canadians, no longer I think the monarchy is relevant as our head of state and, and they want to abolish it. What would you take on that? I think, again, I think when we look at something like uh, indigenous political relationships, how our treaties 